Okay, hello everyone and welcome back to Fallout 4. I'm gonna give everyone the opportunity to get in here. Let's tune in here. Nothing. There we go. <laughs> okay. So, today we're going to be doing a little bit of railroad work, as well as talking to Dr. Omari. And doing that whole thing. Um, how about new? No. Oh yeah. We have to do that thing for Nick. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, all right. All right. Oh, that's it? Just me? Okay. I want to start getting our companions a better gear. The fuck? Ah! Forgot about you. Oh, you're really good at this. Too good. Yeah, I wouldn't say that, Deacon, but thank you. One moment. Okay. Wait a minute, is he just back at Bunker Hill? Yeah, he is! Not walking all the way over there. Already. Hi, I'm Meg. Shut up, Meg. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. Hello. Welcome, my friends. Might I ask, do you have a Geiger counter? Mine is in the shop. You? I was expecting someone a bit more uh, armed. I'm sorry, you more wanted more armed? Friends. Yes? Let's say I am. Of course. You've just joined, haven't you? All you need to know is this is the first stop for all our new packages. So maintaining proper security here and preventing any unnecessary delays is crucial. A trader always has to move his merchandise efficiently. And we're all about making good trade routes. Exactly. My current package has been in my possession far too long. I'm supposed to deliver the package to some place nearby. But raiders have complicated matters. So, if you could... Exterminate! Absolutely. <laughs> That's Facilitate the best thing I'm doing. Facilitate delivery. Hm. I can do that. We're supposed to make the delivery at night, so once you clear out the undesirables, we'll meet after the sun sets. Cool. Okay. Which is over there. All right. Uh, I'd imagine there's no way out through here. It might be safe. Just maybe. Uh, this way. I'm missing my moderator! Yeah, 
and I'm wondering what's going on because I know they're up. Because they were sending me TikToks literally a few minutes ago. Unless that chat glitch is happening again. And they've been here the whole time. And it's just not showing me them. All right, let's try and, yeah. Eh, you know what? I think we can do a two on one if I have what I think I have. Yes, I do. Okay, I'm gonna take a brief stop over to Diamond City. Gonna look for some armor for Deacon. And restock some ammo. Oh, wait, no, I should have stopped by Sanctuary to sell some things first. Shoot. Hold on. I want to make sure everything's... Yeah, my audio should be good. I'm live. Oh, weird. Diamond City. Go out that way. Watch what you say. If the Institute shows one place to infiltrate, we're walking right into it. Okay. Thank you for that, Deacon. Uh, okay, Arturo. Hey, it's the new girl. Am I right? Yeah, yeah, sure. I'm the new girl. Well, it's good to have you here. Name's Arturo Rodriguez. If you need protection, let's talk. All I've right. got a few minutes to browse. Don't forget to stock up on ammo. That is exactly what I'm here for. Okay. No, I don't need the armor pieces. I need the actual... Eh. Okay, mine is based off of 308. Perfect. Okay. Oh yeah, I got the under caps. Good. Okay, hold up. So, that one's old news. Um... Eh. That one already... There we go. Don't need that anymore. Don't need that. Don't need that. I want to give it to someone, but I don't know who. Um, don't need that. Don't need that. Some decoration. I don't use jet. Keeping that. Thank you. I'm uh, using those for decoration. Same with those, and specifically made that to sell. Okay. There we go. Sorry, wait, yep. Oh wait, hold on. What is the silver? You use point forty five. We have plenty of that. Oh yeah. Okay, so I believe Spike said last time the point thirty eight was used for a lot of pipe weapons. Either way, I know for a fact I don't need forty four. Don't plan on using ten millimeter ever again. Uh where's the one that we use for Um Ah for the miniguns. Isn't it the five point fifty six? Do I have one in my inventory? I don't think I do. Hey Mira, how you doing? I commented earlier that I was missing my moderator. Ha! I was missing my moderator because they were talking to their mom. Try saying that ten times fast. Uh, fusion cell. Oh, actually, we gotta be careful with that. Uh, so to get up to 448 from 337 would be one. Oh. Okay, yeah, it would be one. Hundred and eleven, I believe. Hey, perfect. Yes. Ha! 
Yoink. And I got my ammo. Uh, speaking of, I don't think I need any more point forty five. We have 543 rounds. I think we're good. Oh, there we go. That's the one for the minigun. The uh, 5mm. Okay, we definitely don't need the 5.56. Uh, fusion. Oh wait, Arturo can't take anymore. I love old world widgets. Worth a fair amount too. Oh right, because I sold the cigarette packs in that. Hello, Wes. Oh, speaking of Wes Johnson. Ah! Um, my autograph that I got from him on um from Streamly. Um, it's out for shipping, I believe. Hold on. I know it was processed to the warehouse. Let me double check this. I'm concerned about how it's going to get shipped, though. I really hope my mailman isn't an idiot and decides to bend it. Because we have one of those, um, like the mailboxes that are across the street that aren't, like, you know, we don't have a mailbox actually attached to the house. It's across the street from us. So, yeah, so shipment received by partner carrier uh, and processed through facility. So, that's neat. I still want to look into streaming from, like, the Nintendo Wii and the 3DS, but there's not enough resources to actually figure out whether I can do that or not. Oh, hi, okay. Excuse me. Uh, hello. Have you been here before? Uh, no, first time no, here. First time. Thought so. Some ground rules. This isn't a charity. Clothes are for sale if you have the money. Otherwise, the door's right there. Okay. People are stealing these clothes? Seriously? Yes, they are. So don't push it. Now that we understand each other, welcome to Fallon's. Cool, sure. thanks. Let's take a look. A paying customer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, RMTs, don't need that. Um, ooh. Longshoreman. Wait a minute. Is this base game, or did it just... Huh. Anyways, um... Spare of it, no. <sighs> I mean, I... Really want to be taking that? You know what? We'll probably find some like leather fatigues and stuff, or whatever it is that we have on from the raiders that we're gonna go take out. Really gonna start uh, focusing on gearing up the companions. Not that anyone's like fainted on us or anything, because they haven't. But I'd rather just have them set up regardless. I know some of their armor comes pretty well, but Deacon is not prepared, and I don't think Hancock is either. Nick we can't do anything about, unfortunately. Nick refuses to, <laughs> to change his outfit. He's really stuck to the detective. <laughs> He's really attached to the detective gear. So how are you doing today, Mira? Feeling any better from that headache yesterday? If that's resisting, you might want to go to the doctor. Somebody had security issues. Oh wait! Jack Cabot's available again. Neat! That's a more comfortable ammo count. Alrighty. Didn't I already... Oh, I already logged into this day. Whoops. Thanks, Giovanni. Thank you, Team Rocket Leader Giovanni. <laughs> Wrong button again. God damn it. <laughs> Headache is gone, thankfully. Yippee! A left button for bats. There we go. Oh, screw off. Oh, now it hits. Okay. Practically didn't move. Alright. 
Uh, also, my Red Hood jacket and vest arrived yesterday, I believe, and I have a couple other packages that should get here today. Nice! I am waiting on my uh, Super Scribble Knots cartridge for my Nintendo DS. Don't look, but I think you got him. Oh! Shot. Receiving end. <laughs> I don't think I ever heard that one from Deacon. Not gonna lie. I have heard Deacon talk a lot. I don't think I ever got that one from. Ah, ah idiot. Oh. Himself with the Molotov. Oop. Really? So close. Hello. Oh, new business model. We team up with a mortuary. <laughs> you see where I'm going with this, right? Unfortunately, I do, Deacon. Also, where did you get that? Hey. Hmm. What's mine is yours, pal. Hold up. What? Where did you get that? You trying to copy me? I mean, it makes sense. I am awesome. <laughs> oh, I thought that was a s oh glow sighted would have been so good. I don't want to take the air leathers. Uh, metals probably best. Stim pack. Uh, the right arm. No. Should probably take those materials off the scouting list. Oh, okay, so Spike was right. That point thirty eight is for pipe, because he had that ammo and then I was out of pipe weapon. Uh, I don't want the radar leathers. I have road leathers, I think. Actually, hold on. So we need like four. Ah, three, actually. Okay, so we have enough metal right legs. None of the base armor, which is kind of crap. Because if I recall, McCready nor Hancock's um, like outfits allow for this stuff to be added on top. So... Hold on. So my right arm should be greater. My left arm should be metal. Alright. Let's see how messed up that looks. You know what? It's actually not that bad. Not as bad as I thought it'd be. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're just gonna ignore that. You know, that's that's fine. You know, it's <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, they're, they're feral. <laughs> what? We were standing out in the open question mark? I'm so confused. Well, that's not gonna matter. Anyways, uh <laughs> Kneecaps. Yoink. And, uh oh. Can't get the kneecaps on that one fast enough. It's fine. <laughs> I'll take the ammo regardless, though. Thank you. <laughs> Whatever that was about. Uh. Oh. D okay. Yeah, there's just straight up a mailman. What? <laughs> huh. Why the fuck are they so fast? Uh, good question. Unfortunately, I don't have the answer. <laughs> I don't know why they're so fast. I think the best, I think the most deceptive part is, is that they shamble and like stumble about. And then the second that you go to fuck with them, it's like, Nyo! what the hell? That's what you were doing five seconds ago. Where'd that come from? Uh oh. Oh, they're fighting something. All the, uh, Deacon, a bit close there. <laughs> if you want a hug, you can just say. Hold up. Okay. Oh, is that the only one I can see? Really? Uh oh.
Hoi. Oh, great. There is a legendary one. to be my thing. <laughs> Fucker. Don't mean to make you nervous, but I don't think we're alone. Oh, come on. Let's see if they left anything useful for us. Agreed. Got fun time incoming. Okay, Deacon, we- Oh! <laughs> Did he just- <laughs> Did he just blow himself up by hitting the car? <laughs> Please tell me that dumbass just blew himself up by hitting the car. That would be amazing if that was what he did. I think that's exactly what he did. Which is hilarious, because it, for those of you that don't know, uh, legendary enemies have technically two health states. Um, <laughs> once you get them to a low amount of health, they mutate, and then they get full health again. Fucker. I was hoping they'd all be dead by now. Yeah, me too. Um, <laughs> fuck it. Anyways, um, yeah, and then they get health again. Oh no, you're still here. See, there we go. Okay, so you didn't get taken out with the car. You almost did, though. I love traveling with Deacon. Anyways, um, yeah, there we go. No need to explain any further. It happened. It did the thing. Yoink. Really you know that? <laughs> Not that thorough. It was like surface level looting. Okay. What the hell caused that one? That's just detecting something, but also nothing at the same time. Weird. Of course we weren't lucky enough for the legendary raider to be taken out by the car. Okay, question then. Where the hell did the other ones go? <laughs> yeah, whatever. Huh. Is it more damage against humans? Neat! Who the fuck in our group uses a pistol, though? <laughs> Hancock uses shotguns primarily, and I want—I said they can use any weapon, um, but I think their base weapon is what they start off with a proficiency in. I could be wrong. I could be just overthinking it, and that's New Vegas's way of working. But I don't actually know. So, anyways, ooh, it has a glow sight. Love those. Uh, yeah. What is muffled shut? What does all this shit mean? I don't know what this shit means. It, does that make it better? Does that make it worse? I don't know what that means. Short combat rifle. Hmm. Uh, what do I have for the metal set? Not three of those, so now I have three of those. Cool. Just need a left arm. Oh, actually, technically I do need four, because one of them is on me! Alright, for gore! <laughs> Leather. Red leathers, yoink! Leather. I'm picking out the leather as well, just in case I don't have enough to cover the other companions. Because you only have one left leg for this. So, you know, just covering all our bases. Oh, they were fighting ghouls. Okay. Wasn't there another one? This one was like three AU bastards. Hmm. Oh yeah, no, one, two, three. No, I was right. Okay, actually, come here. Hey. You called? Yes, I did. Loading Get over here. Or loading off. Up. Or no, it would be off on my end. Never mind. You know what I mean. Uh, so I can store one of these on you. And then... I think I have enough to spare completely for you. One, one. No chest plates. Ooh. Uh, do I have a leather one, maybe? 
exactly one. Okay. So, Deacon. Leg, right arm, left leg, left arm, chest piece. There we go. Look at that. Now you're outfitted. Okay, so we just gotta start finding more of those chest pieces. That'd be great. Oh, wait. Hold on. Does Kellogg's outfit allow any... Does that mean it does? I don't know. Or does it just take up all the slots? Oh, it just takes up all the slots. Okay. It does look freaking awesome, though. Oh, yeah, and it adds up perfectly. Oh, yeah, we're good. Oh, we are so good. Hmm. Tempting to give that to Deacon. Gonna wait it out. And now I have an extra set of rotor letters. Fantastic. Oh, hi. Oh, my God. Hey. <laughs> I forgot about that. Clear. This is H2 22. Say anything. H2. Here's the person. Don't say anything. I'm not talking to you. Nice to meet you, H2. Another person actually happy to meet me. This'll take some getting used to. Remember what I told you, H2. I'll fire up the signal. Um. Oh, is it the lantern? And there. Time for ah! me to go. Keep H2 safe. Someone will be here shortly. Alrighty. Okay, let's see. Yeah, that's all good. Hmm. Oh, hello. Easy there. Don't shoot. Whisper. Right? And my man Deacon. Still with the same old face? What? It's been three whole months. You're getting slow. I keep meaning to go to the face doctor, but who has the time? Right? I heard about you. <laughs> Walked the Freedom Trail, cleared out Switchboard. Glad you joined the team. Uh... Yeah, I really don't think I need to ask him to sign. It's nice to meet you. Honor's all mine. Let's take a look at I mean, he first. knows Deacon. Hey, you? You okay? A little rattled, but I've never been better. The other man, he said I shouldn't talk too much. He told you right, H2. You'll need a real name and a new face, but we'll get to that. Oh, listen. There's more than raiders behind me. Great. Afraid we need a little more help. Alrighty. More raiders? Not a problem. You headquarter heavies mean business. We need to get to Ticonderoga's safe house, my home. A lot of sense fresh off the boat crashed there until we smuggled them out of the Commonwealth. Nice that you're willing to do that for us. Yeah. I'm working off sands from a misspent youth. I'll lead the way. Okay. What's more metal than wearing your enemy's friggin' outfit? <laughs> says up what up where up how up fighting again great <laughs> yeah deacon that's how it works oh whatever why do you and nick both talk about that it's a weirdo <laughs> you aren't hearing anything can you give me my freaking weapon that'd be great damn it Yeah, you tell him. Where's that turret? No, seriously, where is that turret? Hey! Yeah, you wanna go? Okay. Fine by me. Fuck you. Reload. Raiders, dummy, let's go! before she leaned around cover. Oh, that's a straight up mutant hound. Okay, yeah, cool. So <laughs> Deacon. Oh no! Shit, no, bats! Oh. That 
was almost extremely bad. Oh, for who now? What, huh? Oh, there. Come on. Oh, there you are. Yeah, because your aim sucks. Well, so does mine, apparently. Jeez. I'm not firing. Why? There we go. Oh, that's H2. Ooh. What are you guys firing at? Oh. I got bored of fighting anyway. <laughs> Deacon. Oh, I didn't quick save before this, did I? What are you self- what? Really? You really can't run from the super mutant on the roof? You know, all the way up there? I'll say that. Better not be. Whenever you're done corpse squatting, I'm good to go. Deacon. Spider leathers. Oh yeah, just raiders behind you, eh, high rise? Yeah, sure. It seemed like more than just raiders. Oh, the door's over there. Perfect. Got a group of them back here. Uh, metal. Other. Impact. Shit. Alright, I'll have to double check my inventory. Oh, that was a raider like Shoot. Okay. Don't need that one. Uh, metal. Uh, raider. How many of those have I accidentally been picking up? Alright. Anyways, I think there's one up here as well. Yoink. The leathers, thank you. Hold on. Do I need the right leg? Yes. Anyways. It's on this side, which is good. Hello. Molotov, thank you. Uh, metal left arm. Yeah, I need one of those. Um, sell that. I need to start making a list. All right, we have enough the right arms. I thought he said that there was more than just raiders. Did he? I thought he said, "Oh, I got a bunch of um, raiders behind me." Okay. Need left leg and right leg. So basically both the legs. Left leg. That's a raider set. Don't want that. Oh, hello. Don't use it myself, but still helpful. Hello, Deacon. Alrighty. Come on. That's a problem. Where is that again? There you are. Ooh, you sneaky little bastard! How did you not pick up on that one? Vats, come on, keep up. Just picking up those two, trying to sabotage me. Caution. Oh! Oh, it's on! Now it's off. So, quick, quick save a Rooney. No. No. Do not. Step on that. No. <laughs> Love just telling straight up mines. No. You don't get to do your job. Yoink. Um. Okay, this will be the last of the right legs. Shit. <laughs> hey, Deacon. Hey, 
Let's see what I got in my pockets. Yeah. I know what you have in your pockets. I'm giving you things in your pockets. You know what? I'm gonna take that back. <laughs> I'm sorry, I am not trusting you with a... F okay, maybe the missile launcher. That's it. No. Alrighty. That should be it. Enough of my detouring. Quick save. You can't die, right? Like that's not a thing we can lose to. I sure hope not. I certainly hope you're marked as essential. I rise. You in, buddy. Those are mines you're neglecting to tell me about, Vats. Don't start freezing on me now, you little shit. Um. Oh, we're here. Hi, Raz. And we're here. All in the night's work for you agent types. Huh. Yeah, just part of the service. I think I'm gonna like you even more than Glory. If you ever need grub, bullets, or just a power nap, take the elevator up to Tycon. My house is yours. And Deacon, try not to give the rookie too much shit. Deacon may be a terrible liar, but it always pays to have him on your side. Later. I am thoroughly enjoying having Deacon with us. <laughs> oh, you liked that, did ya? Bird, 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 bird. Oh, gimme, 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 gimme! Fuckers! No, Deacon's got the freaking. Gimme, <laughs> gimme the missile What's launcher. That? Let's see what gimme. I got in my pockets. Seriously, gimme. I don't care. I'm starting to fight with the Brotherhood now. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Go, go, go! Ooh, hello. Bird, 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 bird. Want it? Yeah. Damn it! Woo! Deacon! Buddy, don't get in my way, please. For your sake. Where? There it is! Wait, is it going down? No! Shit. I missed. Then I fired. Then I missed. Then I fired. Then I missed again. Aha! Do like long, lazy, dull days, no. right? Too bad! I don't like the brotherhood. Oh, there it goes! <laughs> oh, I love working with Deacon. Have I mentioned that? Oh, you sons of bitches. <laughs> Bitch. Yeah. How did you survive that? Why do I hate you for it? Get laser weapons. Get out of here! This is stupid. Oh, come on. Thank you. Oh, get him, Deacon! Yay! Oh, wait, 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 they're fighting! Don't mean to make you nervous. <laughs> there you are. Oh, the raider killed him. That's amazing. That was fun. I like doing that. We should do that again sometime. Ah, Ooh, what? No. Tradition of looting. <laughs> ah, raider leathers. I need it again for the leather set. Left leg. One more left leg. Do you have it? Hey, let's go. All right, no more leather. We don't need it. I don't think. Uh, left arm, left leg, right arm, right leg. Nope. Just need metal now. We have all the road leathers we need, though. Yoink. I want to keep count of this one. Ooh. Hold on. Is this going to count as stolen? It is not. Yoink. Incendiary. I love Amira's in the chat. Whoa, get fucked. <laughs> Response to shooting down the vertebrate. Bird. Okay, this is going to weigh so much. Hey, Deacon. Uh, <laughs> you got enough space for it, buddy? Yeah, no. I don't even want anything, Brother of Steel. Fuck you guys. I don't want your shitty power armor. 
I don't care if it is better than mine. It's Brotherhood of Steel. Therefore, by default, it's shitty. Super mutants. <laughs> I don't really think that's useful, but okay. Ooh. Metal, metal. What? Dang it. Dang it. Help. Dang it. Heads up. Sure. <laughs> sure, I can help you out. Thank you. Oh, yeah, because I picked up the missile launcher. I can help you out. Thank you, Deacon. Look at that. Pipe sniper rifle. Oh, the damage on that is abysmal. All right, hold on. Metal. Do I have anything? Okay, right leg we don't need anymore. Need the... We do not need the left leg anymore. Need more left arm, though. Hmm. Okay. Data, what's our next? Right, Dr. Amari. Oh, wait, no, we were supposed to take Nick to do this. Shoot. Uh, wait, no. Darn. Oh, right. We're supposed to go back to the railroad anyway. Whoops. Maybe I'll never do a mission for us. Oof. Da, da, da. And you. <laughs> Trying to reach my charger for my laptop. Doc Harrington! There's been hey, Doc. Heavy's bloody traipsing around at all hours. I take it the H-222 situation has been resolved? <laughs> of course, but there's yet more to be done. Since the fall of the switchboard, we've ascertained the fate of all but two safe houses. I, I want you to check on Augusta. <laughs> Sorry, Deacon's idle animation. I'll get it done. Details away to the dead drop. Have a care. Odds are very good. What did you get me? Something nasty. Ooh, excuse me. Hold on, what did you give me? You gave me something that over encumbered me. What did you give me? Oh, hello. Wait, does that do less? 41. 55. <sighs> Carrington! That is kind of neat, though. It does use a different ammo type. Nah, I'll give it to Deacon. Look alive. Oh wait, maybe I can give it to uh, McCready. Maybe it'll be better than his. What you need? The Brotherhood are our enemies. There's no possibility of peace. Oh. Tinker Tom will be spearheading a failsafe. Hold on. Shush. Plan to deal with this Brotherhood. <laughs> Code Deacon. name Red Glare. But for now, we monitor them and keep them clear of our operations. The focus remains on the institute. You've all got jobs to do. Do them. Confirmed. That's the one I was talking about. Whisper. Um. The Brotherhood. Okay, I still want to do that one with uh, with Nick. That one's the main story. I think Nick deserves to be with us during that. Plus, he's kind of going to be there already. So. You know. Oh, wait. Did he head over there? No, because we said we were going to go with him. So I think he's still going to be at Sanctuary. If he's not and he went over on his own anyway, then we'll just keep Deacon. Oh. Oh. Autopilot! <laughs> Got you fast travel from here. Bunker Hill again. Alright. Get fancy hand claws! Haha. <laughs> Wolverine reference. I understood that reference. Love how Bethesda's way of keeping us entertained during loading screens is- Look! Spinning object! 
that you can also spin yourself. This one's so little follow. <laughs> and now you can make it the color of your Pip Boy. <laughs> I understood that reference, Mira says in chat. <laughs> I wonder who or what they're protecting against. Oh, yes. Look alive. Loading up or loading off? Okay, let's give you some better. Oh, wait, hold on. What are you missing then? Oh, you just need the chest piece. Oh, yeah, we don't have that. Alright, now Deacon's like pretty much good. Until we can find some actual like combat sets, that would be great. That would be freaking amazing. I want to wait this out because it's too dork. Um, unfortunately, I... Hold on. How do we wait in this game again? Because unfortunately it doesn't just let you wait wherever you're standing like you can in New Vegas. I swear at some point during this playthrough I will stop comparing it to New Vegas. I have just fresh off of actually playing New Vegas. So... Hi, Deeks. Six, seven, eight... Five, six... Yeah, we're good for seven, thirteen. Move over, Deacon. Jeez. Totally not like I walked into you. Also, Mira, you kind of had a meh opinion on Deacon last time. I am going to keep bugging you because I know you like Nick Valentine, but I don't know how you like the others. What are your thoughts on Deacon currently? How are you liking him? I just realized we didn't have that for the uh, Halloween decorations at home. I didn't have a pumpkin. I want a pumpkin. Oh, you put the rail sign on the inside of the- Ugh, fine. Alrighty. Um... Oh, it's over by the Cambridge Police Station. Ew. Deacon is definitely growing on me. I don't know if he's ever going to be a favorite, but he's definitely a liked character. Huh. Alright. Based on that trend alone, though, I think he's I think you're gonna end up liking him a lot. That might just be because I do, though. <laughs> Honestly, I think uh, the ones you might end up liking the least might be Hancock or McCready. Not gonna lie, because I already know you really like Nick. You're starting to like Deacon. But... Personally, I think it leans more so towards McCready. Because um, I'd consider them a little bit more of an acquired taste. Um, like, a lot of people like Hancock and everything. That I get, but it's... I don't know. He's kind of not really in the range of the characters that we usually end up liking. Uh, between me and you. So, you know, like, he's a fan favorite, but it doesn't mean he'll be your favorite. I think it leads more so towards McCready, though, because he's definitely more of an acquired taste. He's not really on fan favorite levels. Doesn't mean he sucks. <laughs> Yeah, I think he's definitely more one you need to get used to. Hello! Alright, I might as well just run in here with this. We made that look easy. Probably because we're not done. <laughs> we could always use some more ammo. Did you just put yourself in the corner? <laughs> Buddy, you gotta work on that space. Uh we're done with the leather set, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah, we're just missing the arms for the metal. Deacon! <laughs> you gotta work on that spatial awareness, buddy. No metal, okay. 
Yeah, getting distracted. Wait a minute. Hold on. Is this the something Shakespearean involving death and your inevitable doom? Ah! Here? <laughs> <laughs> uh, again. Oh, come on, let me take a swing, god damn it. Heck off. Oh, that should have counted. That definitely hit that one. Fuck off. Fuck off all of you, man. How does that not count? Like seriously, they're right here. Let's go. Oh, fuck off. That's is useless. Oh my god, why are there so many things here? What am I getting staggered by? Like, seriously. <laughs> you think, Deacon? What are you firing at now? Oh. Oh, fuck off. This is the part where you're supposed to die. <laughs> God, the stupid thing keeps going around the fucking corner. These things are so goddamn annoying. Like, get the fuck over here. Ugh. They're so pointless, too. Like, out of all the enemies in Fallout, you did not need to add those. They literally don't do anything. There's no survival thing to be held with them. There's no point for those to exist. At least there were benefits of like anything else that followed as added as an enemy. These things do nothing. They're not worth anything, they don't serve a function, there's nothing that helps with the survival mode, with any food you can make for them. They're so fucking pointless! And they're annoying! Why? Sorry, I'm so pissed off with those things. And their AI on top of it, they have to fucking run away from everything? Because Get over here! <laughs> I'm with you, Deacon. Like, look at this. It's not even worth anything! And they're fucking everywhere! Yeah. <laughs> Kendall Hospital. I'm still trying to remember if this is the place with the thing. Because if it's the place with the thing... Uh... <laughs> I might need that missile launcher back from Deacon. crickets on top of it. Grr! That's a real life thing. <laughs> Stupid crickets keep on getting out and I have no clue how. Like, their containers practically locked down like Fort freaking Knox and still find a way out anyway. Anyways. It's fine. We're fine. Yoink. Thank you. Tell him we're fucking all into a lot. We need to take more risks. Caravans ain't that well guarded. Watch your step. Oh, I see you. Yoink. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Deacon. 
Buddy, you gotta back up a little bit. That personal space thing we mentioned. Darn. Uh, wait, lightness. Uh, I don't know, live. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go back to the other one. There we go. Okay. No. I'm trying to see if there's another expression. Any arrows? No. Maybe over here? No. Oh, wait. Over here. It's the wrong bracket. Ah, uh, uh, find file. I don't know. I don't fully. Like, I've, I think I've explained this before, but I don't fully understand how the hacking works. I get the very vague gist of it where I can make attempts. I am not making educa educated attempts. <laughs> no. Ooh, okay, closer to good. Literally. Come on. Look, it's making a face. <laughs> Alright, um... Like, I'm sure there's many people that can explain it far better than I ever could. No. No. There's too many brackets that don't freaking match. I haven't found a tries reset. Shit. Uh, okay, I tried camp now. It's good. I don't know. Yes. <laughs> it was literally door. <laughs> See? I told you. I'm just guessing at this point. Opening door. Opening door. I never had the patience to muck around with terminals. I don't blame you. How does this help me? Oh, I see. I see. Anyways. Boop. Close the door. Close the door. <laughs> Deacon, personal space, please. <laughs> the slow backing away. All right. If I open this door. Deacon. 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 Deacon, stop pushing me. I'll go when I'm ready. Time income. Hey, don't call me a bitch. <laughs> okay, who's firing at my companion? You! Ow! Deacon! <laughs> Deacon! A little bit of assistance. Buddy, you're supposed to watch my back here. You let him through. No kidding. Stop hiding behind shit. You know what? Fuck you. Someone up there. Wait, up there or up here? Oh, it's a turret up here. Got it. I heard something. Yeah, me shooting the turret that you Don't didn't look. see. We got a live one. And now it's a dead one. <laughs> okay. Also, yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the place with the thing. Great. 
Alright, yeah, that's not gonna help me. Why can't we even open that door if we can't get through? What was the point of that? Okay, let's go walk. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> Any metal? Nope. You can. My eyes! <laughs> Ah, I was looking at the blue, the light blue part of the wall. <laughs> Just lit up. Why can we unlock that? That was pointless. Ugh, whatever. Like, whatever. Oh, okay then. What the? Oh. Oh, maybe we shouldn't have brought Deacon. Speaking of, can you... Back up, sir, please. I've been everything, but you are right on my ass. Case in point, you just had to back up again. <laughs> Calm down. Whoops. Misclick. Alright, um... Book return. What? No. Book return? Alrighty. It's saying up, so I gotta find a way up. Where that way up is, I have no- I have a clue now of where up is. Okay. Medical liquid nitrogen dispenser. Huh. Alrighty. Out for traps. Hi, Deacon. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, here, I guess. Still looking out for traps, though. Deacon, don't look. Okay, what are we doing here? Where is this thing taking me? Oh. Well. Yeah, because that makes sense. <laughs> uh, right away, thank you. Where are you leading me? Hold on. Just gonna quick save before that happens. Come on, Deacon! Come on, Deacon. There we go. Going up. Up. No, I didn't want to go up. Oh, fine. Sixth floor. Oh, hello. Don't look. Oh, I have my right trigger doesn't want to work. It's to do with my sensitivity? I don't know. Uh, short hunting rifle. Oh, there we go. Maybe it's up then down sort of thing. Oh. You no, know, ammo isn't cheap. Can we just pay you to play dead? <laughs> Deacon. Oh boy! There's more of you bastards than I thought. You made that look easy. Are you guys seriously? Okay. Oh, uh, where are you supposed to go from this point? I don't actually know. Because it doesn't look. Oh, wait, hold on. Someone's going to show us the way around. How am I on fire? No. You might want to wipe the blood off anything you find there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, I thought that was way more fun than it should have been. Okay. Thank you for leading me right to you. I was a little bit lost there for a minute. Oh, look at that. They opened the doors and everything. How nice of them. So someone on our level. Oh, he has a fucking missile launcher. Okay. Shit. 
Nope. I heard something. You think? Ah! Deacon. Move, please. For once, stay out of the way. I'd really appreciate it. No need to hide. It'll all be over soon. Yeah, for you. Oh, there you are. God, can my scope move any slower? Fuck! What did I hit? Because it wasn't him. <sighs> what the hell? What? Where? Oh, there. We're back in business. <laughs> oh, come on. Let's see if they left anything useful for us. Hold on. No, I know what my controls are. What are the... I didn't really want it to be that fast, but it's too slow as is. Okay, maybe down a few ticks. There we go. Alright, hopefully that fixes it. Oh, it's that freaking turret, isn't it? Okay, but how far down is the stupid thing? Probably not down here. Oh. God damn it. If we're running, you're doing it without me. Did you fall? Did Deacon just noise. <laughs> Do not tell me Deacon just <laughs> fell. <laughs> Do not tell me Deacon just fell. Open the door. Oh, you can't. Great. I swear to God, did Deacon just fucking fall? Oh, hello. Goodbye. No, seriously, where's. Do not tell me you fell! Uh. Okay, cool. No, seriously, where is Deacon? Because the thing that's down there, I want to fight it. But I need the missile launcher in order to fight it. But Deacon has a freaking missile launcher. So now the question is, where the hell is Deacon? And why... Isn't it over by me, for once? Deacon, buddy, I appreciate that you're a man of extremes, but going from too close to me to too far away is not ideal. See, do you mind? I don't know, maybe closing the gap? Yoink. Alright. No, because seriously, if Deacon fell in there, we are so screwed. Well, so is Deacon, but you know. At least he's the one with the missile launcher. That's a great question. I have no answers for you. Oh, very funny, you cheeky little shit. Throwing my words back at me. Oh, I can pick advanced locks. I'm an idiot. This way? Nope. Further that way. Nice. Wait, can you not get to me because these are locked? Did oh, hello.
Okay. Deacon! Buddy, I gotta get back here. Please. Wherever you landed, I need you to get your ass up here. Because that line that he says indicates that he hurt his legs. So... Yeah. No. Hey! I was easing up on that. Are they this way, maybe? No. Wait, yes. Aha! Got it. Cool. Okay. Deacon! Yeah, I'm gonna- What the- Where did you come from? I'm not trying to hide, dumbass. Well, now I am. Deacon, I swear to God, if you landed all the way down there, I'm gonna be so upset with you! Why do they always gotta fight back? Yeah, that's how humans work, Shit. dumbass! Lost them. Oh, what? Such a good firefight. <laughs> okay, you sound closer now, which is good, but also you're not directly here. So where are you? Oh, well, say, hey, I got my right away back. Where are you? I'm so sorry. Oh, seriously, where the fuck is Deacon? Deacon! Uh, yoink. Where did you go, you little shit? Oh my god. Where the fuck did you land? I s you better not be down here. I mean it. <laughs> I am so genuinely concerned that Deacon landed down there. So if he did, we're not getting him back until we go down there ourselves. And at that point, we have a lot of problems. So, Deacon, if you could please maybe, oh, I don't know, get up here and just suddenly spawn over here. God damn it. Really? Oh, you fucking landed at the bottom, didn't you? <laughs> oh, I. Ugh. Deacon, I'm gonna kill you when I get my hands on you! Why? You fucking landed down there, didn't you? I can't. Wait. No, that's not Deacon. I do. Oh, there you are! Good! You didn't fall down there! Thank fuck! <laughs> Deacon! Alright, you made your way up. Good. You did not fall down there. Good. Get over here. What's mine is yours, pal. Cool. Get over here. Give me this. I'll trade you for these. With you overloaded and all, let me take this chance to read my unabridged copy of War and Peace at you. Do not. <laughs> so, hey, basically, so you're over and covered and you can't run away from me, so. <laughs> I can't lie and say I wouldn't also do the same. I've already searched here. Okay, now we can go down there. Uh. I feel like there was a stairway down here, but. Whatever. Okay, uh, I would bring Deacon with me, except I don't want him hurt. So you. Hey. What's the word? We've been traveling for a spell. Oh, uh, what? Oh, oh, okay. I was hoping to have some words with you. Oh, hi. Yeah, sure, you know, definitely the right time. time. I'm used to flying solo, but I got to admit, working with you makes me think I've been missing out. 
having someone watching your back is refreshing. Especially, especially you since you never know when the Institute is watching. Yeah, especially when your habit is running face first into danger. <laughs> Definitely good having your back, eh, Deacon? The feeling's mutual. I gotta say, you make it look easy, but you have some built-in advantages. Some people at HQ are jealous. You took the big nap and everyone you knew is long gone. Now, hear me out on the silver lining. If a human in the railroad slips up and they expose friends and loved ones to danger, you're safe from that. Well, I guess I'm a little lucky then. What's done is done, and the upshot is you're in a position where you can act openly. If you go to ground, there's little the coursers can do about it. It doesn't matter much to me. I'm a synth. At least that's what they tell me. So I really don't have anything to lose. For Glory and me and the others, it's easier to dedicate ourselves to the cause. Uh, Deacon, I hate to break it to you, but, uh, I don't really have that ability now because, uh, you and the other companions count! <laughs> I do have people to worry about! It's called you, dumbass! That's interesting. That's one word for it. Since we're traveling together, I want you to take this. It's my recall code. If you ever need to know something about the Institute, read it to me. I appreciate the trust. Yeah, well, about that. Don't use the code unless you absolutely have to. It'll wipe my memories. I'm not sure how much of me will even be left. You know, I'd just feel better if you didn't read it until you need it. Uh-huh. What was I talking to you about again? Oh, yeah. You. Over here. here. Your wish is my strong recommendation. <laughs> Wait there. there. Absolutely. And my eagerness is totally unrelated to wanting a smoke break. <laughs> well, you're gonna have one hell of a show for it, too. Oh, yeah. Also, uh, in case you're wondering why I'm doing this, where is it? So, Mira, you still here? Because, uh, there's something about, uh, yeah, about Deacon that you should know. Besides what he already told us. I think I've already told you it before, but just to make it very clear. He's a fucking liar! <laughs> so, uh, fun fact about this little fucking note. Uh, the first time I traveled with Deacon, like the very first time, uh, that I had him as a companion, and we had that talk, and he gave me that note. I was adamant on never reading it. I put it in a safe that I hid very well in my first settlement. And he kept on bugging me to read it. Well, actually, he kept on asking me if I read it. And I kept on going, no, Deacon, why would I do that? You told me not to unless it was absolutely necessary. I would never betray your trust like that and read it. Why would I? Stop asking me. And he just wouldn't progress in his dialogue. <laughs> and so finally, I go, fine, fuck it, I'll read it. You won't stop asking me. And then I get this. <laughs> I legit... Could not travel. I wasn't like seriously pissed off. I was like, oh, I fucking hate Deacon now. I was so playfully pissed off at him that for a full IRL week, I did not travel with Deacon. I exiled him to another fucking settlement that had no one around. I timed out Deacon. Because you son of a bitch, I think I spent like three IRL days of playing of doing that back and forth of, no, I wouldn't read it. You know, I'd never betray your trust like that. Stop asking me about the code. Does he ever stop asking me about the code? Like literally looking it up. No, he will not stop asking you until you read it. I'm like, I'm, I don't care. I'm not gonna read it. I'm not betraying the trust like that. I think, I thought it was gonna lead to negative dialogue. And then it's this. <laughs> you son of a bitch. And you know it too. 
No regrets. <laughs> Anyways, there's a reason I'm leaving him up here. It's not his punishment. Safety. Anyways, you stay. Hello. Ah! Okay, can we maybe start over? You know, reloading that. Where are you going? Oh, I forgot this was the way. Ah! See, yeah, there's that. Oh god, why can't we sprint while reloading? Come on. Ah! Where? 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 There. Shit. Fuck. Ah! Ah! Don't ask me why I wanted to fight this. I don't know. I'm stupid sometimes. Ah! Ow! Oh no. Can we move a little bit faster there, Twitch? Thank you. Bring around the Rosie. Ah! Oh, we have like 30 of them, so. Figured what time to be a little bit stupid than with a freaking death claw. Enjoy the show there, Deacon! <laughs> I recognize that you never took a single shot. <laughs> if you did, I certainly didn't hear it. <laughs> Anyways. Yoink. All right, hold on. Circuit breaker. Oh yeah, I think it's powered on an elevator or something. Can't actually remember. Oh, well, okay. Ooh, I wonder what's in there. You like Gimme. Thank you. Okay. Anyways. Another certified Chaos Canadian moment. <laughs> As you know me, I just can't help it. I see a death claw. I gotta fight it. Yoink. Oh wait. Need that. Ba -ba. Oh shoot. Oh shoot, dang it. Oh no. I gotta go to Deacon somehow. Uh oh. Shit, where'd he go? <laughs> Hold on. Deacon! Oh wait! Hey, tell me what you want. Come on. Sure thing. Oh I can actually do that from here! <laughs> Yeah, let's go! I didn't realize I could do that from here. He and I walking up to a door with radiation. Ooh, I wonder what's in there. I have a hazmat suit. I'll be fine. Deacon won't be. <laughs> oh no. Oh shit. Will you get over here? Quit with the meandering stroll. Let's go. <laughs> Come on. Where the- Oh, can your AI just not choose which way to go? Oh no. Uh, mildly concerned about Deacon. Oh wait, companions don't get reds. We're just gonna run through here. Come on, Deacon! The latch is right here. That's what I was trying to click on anyway. Already. Wait, I should probably take off the hazmat, hazmat suit. <laughs> also, hey, what? you can take this. Oh. You 
Can you carry it now? Now you can carry it. Oops. God damn it. Which one was it that you needed again? It was his leg. Is it adding somehow? No, I pick up the. Why am I? Ugh. Still not fine. God damn it! Oh, right. What is it? Thank you, Deacon. Back to HQ. And then I'm going to send Deacon home. I am going to outfit McCready and Hancock. And then we're going to. Oh, help Nick. Hey, Rook. Your name's Drummer Boy. Okay. It's my envious job to keep track of all the dead drops and grab incoming agents and tell them where they're needed. Hmm. I don't suppose you want to switch places. <laughs> this is a sarcastic option. Sure. Hope you know how to use a minigun. Oh, and soak up bullets. <laughs> yeah, you heavies need a lot of punctuality and attention to detail, right? If so, I'm golden. <laughs> we'll be seeing each other. A lot. Okay. Why'd you have to say it that way? Hey, right, hold on. I think I boop. There we go. Pam wants you. She explained why, but I couldn't figure it out. Cool. The Hello. The hand that lost at Augusta's safe house. When it rains, it pours. Augusta's safe house was destroyed by the institute. It's as I feared. Three safe houses gone. Jeez. Hard to imagine. I have nothing hey, How was it by the Institute? Before. It was a bunch of readers. I'm sure someone else could use your help. No shortage of files to be put out. Oh, I guess the Institute cleared it and then readers took it over. Ah, uh, got it. Okay. New. I'm sticking to the plan. Ow. I still love the ending of that description because fuck you. Yeah, that's the only reason I can think of. <sighs> Spill it. No. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, yeah. D. There you are. There you are. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna need to trade with Deacon in. Actually, no, hold on. I know what I can do. Hold on. Figuring things out. Give me a minute. Sure, how much did they take care of your gun? Sunshine, I can good. handle. Got a good bar At least around here somewhere. Shut up, Preston. Where's Deacon? It's a far cry from working with the gunners. Glad that's behind me. Get hey. over here. Yeah. Loading up or loading off? Okay. Did I not? Huh. I guess I didn't. Do I have the road leathers? Where'd the road leathers go? Deacon! Hey, you! Didn't I give him the road leathers? Where'd those go? Excuse me. Did I not? Hold on. What the? Oh, you little shit. <laughs> I see. Okay. Shit. Actually, hold on. You can take that one. I'll take this one. Don't think we'll be running into a lot of mutants, but actually, yeah, no, that's a valid point I just made. Here. Okay. 
Uh, yeah. Other than that. Cool. Oh my god. Hancock. Get over here. Who it is? We heading out again? Not just yet. Just wanted to trade a few things. Yeah, of course. What is that supposed to mean? You already have Oh shit. Alright, hold on. Uh oh, wait, I'm not wearing these anymore. We're good for the metal set. Except for the chess pieces. So I don't need the leather anymore. Great. <laughs> Look at the way Deacon's looking at us. <laughs> Alright. Um there, 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 there. There, 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 there. Alrighty, that should be it for Hancock. Yeah, because I don't think his uh his usual attire can yeah. support Hey. Get over here. There you are. I almost thought you forgot about me. Uh, not really. <laughs> I just want to trade a few things. Oh, I see. All I'm good for is hauling your crap. I am giving you... Do all of you just... Hmm. Okay, I see how it is. I am giving you armor, you ungrateful little shit. Give him a chance. He starts out kind of spiky. Left arm, left leg, right arm, right leg. You're welcome. <laughs> okay, hold on. Deacon, Hancock, McCready. Yeah, no, we're done. That was it. Uh, yeah. No, that's all we need. None of the leather needed to be covered. Nice. There we go. You're welcome! God! Can you see these guys? Oh, hold up. While I go do that, I'm gonna quickly do this. Find out where Nick is. See if he's not already at Amari's. Whoop! Oh! And Carla's passing through! Perfect timing! Carla! Yeah. Also, did I take everything off you? I did not. Come here. Heads up. Sure. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna take this off of you. Definitely taking that off of you. And I'm gonna take this one and this one off of you. You already chose... A weapon. I'll let you keep that. Sure. I can help you out. Carla! Carla, need to pick something up? <laughs> it's pretty long from here. <laughs> Just browsing for now. Oh, well. Wait, what? No, I wanted Carla, to... Carla, oh. need to pick something up? Yes. It's pretty long. Uh -huh. I'll take a look. Sure. Yeah, yeah, keep your shirt on. Okay, jeez. Don't need that. Uh, don't need those. Oh, she only has 350. Darn. Yeah, that's her second best. Uh You know, I don't think we need Oh. Oh, that thing's expensive. Okay. <laughs> all right. I definitely don't need all this. Nope. Yeah. Uh I'll save that for someone that needs it. Laundered. Okay. Let's see. Do you know what? I think I'll do the usual thing that I do. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Metal. No, I don't need that, don't need that. Apparently don't need those. Make sense in a minute, I promise. It wasn't decorating with any of that. Decorating with some of the colas. Same with whiskey and wine. Uh, 
that, keeping those. Boop. Keeping that. Um, not using flamers. Forty fours. Whoa! Holy shit! Wow. Okay. Trust me, this will make sense soon enough. I know it seems like, oh my god, she definitely can't afford to pay you with all that. She can't. Not what I'm looking for, though. Hold on. Uh, let's see. Aha, there we go. Nice. Alright. <clears throat> Sorry. Change those into purified. Uh, hold on, let's go straight for the stim packs. There we go. See what I'm getting at now? Well, then if I really wanted to. Yeah, let's do that. Take the other two right away. I shouldn't know her. Hold on. There we go. Boop! And we didn't lose a damn thing. Except we were already gonna sell. <clears throat> Sorry. Also, I still have all these fusion cells. <laughs> and then... Yoink. Aha! And that's how we do it. Oh, I'm still over encumbered. <laughs> With what? Oh. Those don't weigh anything, do they? No. Do these? Point five. Is it all these? Can't feel my ammo, right? No, ammo doesn't weigh anything. What the hell is over and over? Oh, probably all these. <laughs> Let's see. Weight six, fifteen, thirty. Oh yeah, that'll do it. Oh, these weigh things too. Okay. Yeah, okay. I can see that being a thing now. Now I get it. Yeah. Okay. Don't need two of these. Don't need the minigun because we have Ash Maker. Right, right, right. Um. Maybe Nick could use the ten millimeter. I don't know. Yeah, that makes more sense. Alrighty. Uh I think Nick is probably over by Dr. Amari.
So that's a vault deck rep. So you got a ride of choice? I'm usually a mentat school myself. Makes me feel intellectual. <laughs> you could really use a cigarette. Yeah. That's everyone there, isn't it? Yep. Okay, next already area over by Dr. Amari. Um uh, Yeah, let's just head straight there then. Oh yeah. Hancock turns a blind eye to our activities. Makes good neighbor a great place to lay low. Huh. Weird, I thought he hated since. Well, whoever this Brotherhood of Steel is, I'm not buying that we come in peace malarkey. You should. Well, They're not. Hey, Cleo. I hope you're buying even a gun. I'll yeah. take a look. Sure. A gun for every occasion. Already. Yoink. Ugh. Fine. Fuzzies. Ever been to kill or be killed? Some fine looking weapons. Anyways. Deacon! <laughs> Hell of a load you're carrying. Better sell some to Daisy before someone swipes it. Okay. Looks like we got a Sorry, I didn't mean to bump into my mic there. Oof. Well, well, Mr. Valentine. I thought you had forgotten about the low me. May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Hmm. Amari's downstairs, you big flirt. Hey, Valentine. Let's go talk to Amari. Okay, you're in mission mode. Wait, no, off. Oh, it doesn't take it off. All right, fine. Come on, Deeks. Dr. Amari? Yes. Wait, I know you. You're in the railroad. What's this all about? Oh, that's new. Doctor, it's time for you to reverse <laughs> death itself. What? Uh, <laughs> I wouldn't have put it quite that <laughs> way, but it's true. We need a dead man's memories. A guy named Kellogg. Except Are you other bullshit? <laughs> putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse, you don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. About that. Technically, the corpse was defiled already. <laughs> this dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? I know what the sarcastic options are, but I don't care. Did you say that like Dr. Frankenstein? Igor, fetch me the brain! Sorry. No, I will <laughs> not. Now, do you have uh, it? Boring. Here's what I could find. What's this? You can just chill on the back. This is... Wait. That's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Ah, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology... You know what your own brain looks like, Nick? Damn. Go on, Doctor. Mr. Valentine is an older generation synth. 
But Institute technology being what it is, the brain implant could fit him. But that's an incredible risk to take. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. I'm well past the warranty date anyway. I don't care. Excuse me, Nick. Who said I was okay with it? I'm not okay with that. Nick. <laughs> really, Amir. Hey, stop that. <laughs> What is up with all of our companions in these Fallout games just having death wishes? Enough! I care about you bastards whether you like it or not. You don't get to quit on me. Fucking Boone, Hancock, Nick. Enough! Stop that! I'm putting you all into therapy. <laughs> just in case I did it before. We should try plugging you into a toaster next. Hmm. Fresh toast. Uh, it's nice to know that even when I'm about to have a foreign object shoved into my noggin, you find new horrible ways to laugh at my expense. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to get that one. <laughs> Try breaking your legs. Hey. Sincere. I appreciate this, Nick. You can thank me when we've found your son. All right, let's do this. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine, just sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see you. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Is Nick gonna be okay? Yes, the connections appear to be stable. Hopefully, it'll be as simple as unplugging the implant once we're done. But that doesn't get around the current problem. The memory encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. Nick and I are gonna share a mind? <laughs> I'm not gonna see him in any compromising positions, am I? Yeah, if the smart mouth was all it took to solve problems, we would have found your son by now. <laughs> um, no. You won't have to worry oh! about that. The only memories you'll access are the ones in the implant. <laughs> I'm sticking with that one. I love that response. All right. <laughs> Let's get started. Just sit down over there and <sighs> I'm not even upset about that. I deserve it. <laughs> you on the other side. The, I, no. I know what you mean, but still, no. We're not thinking like that. Is it behind you? I want it. Turn. Already. Don't worry, Deacon. I'll be back. And so will Nick. Hi. <laughs> Join the show. Initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you Hi, Deacon. the strongest memories we can find. They might not How be you stable. <laughs> Just hold on. Do I look pretty in this year? Oh, okay, bye then. Can you hear me? Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite oh, fragmentary. Is this? I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one 
that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. He's a no California Republic. Remember, you are experiencing yes, these memories as Kellogg. This may prove disorienting at first. Do make a mention. Mm, what a joke. What's it mean, Mom? Nothing, Connie. People like to talk and hope someone else is going to keep them sane. Teacher at school Connie. said NCR would bring back the good old days, like before the big war. Don't you listen to that twaddle. I'm going to stop singing you if that's what they're teaching you. I'm going out. Where the fuck did you put my boot? Listen to me, Connie. You take this. Oh, jeez. You're old enough. You're the man of the family now. It's your job to protect us. Your father's useless. But you won't turn out like him. You're a good boy. And all that on the radio. All useless talk. The only thing that will protect you in this world is that gun in your hands. You need to learn to use it if you're going to survive. I, I will, Mom. I promise. I won't let you down. How old is he? He's just like he's five. Sounds like he's like 13. to be what we're looking for. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Try that one. Well, I don't have anywhere else to go, so. It's gonna be fine. You'll see. But we don't know anybody here. And now, with the baby? Come on, Sarah. You gotta give it a chance. Whatever made me think huh? that a guy like me should oh. have a daughter? No, I... I never deserved her. Not for one second. Baby's eyes are creepy. I finally got steady work with a good outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. No, I, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I'm just... You're NCR? Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of green. I know. But that's where I come in. Just wait. In a few years, I'll be running my own crew. As soon as I make the connections I need. Then I can give you anything you want. And little Mary, too. I never worried about you before. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. <laughs> Who knew I had those, huh? Come on, you're great with her. And you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the she. A lot of standing around looking tough. Who are you? I was the worst thing that ever happened to her. If she'd never met me, she'd have stayed in the hub, maybe hooked up with someone who didn't kill people for a living. Probably been happier than she was with me. Almost certainly lived longer. Well, they sure picked the right person for that job. Listen, it's going to be great here. See this? This is what's going to keep you and Mary safe. I promise. Where'd you I know, put that? Connie. I'm sure we're going to be really happy here. Your fucking nickname's Connie. We are. You'll see. That's okay. I got her. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. Thank you. Get me out of here. You're not making me feel bad for that guy. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us and we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. Well, 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 if it isn't the consequences of my own actions.
I found another memory to try. I'll connect you. Thank you, Amari. Mind if we uh, sit down? Suit yourself. So, um, I hear you'll take care of people's problems. Is that right? If you pay me. Oh, we'll pay you. Oh, is that what you got and, that scar? Uh, you'll do this all by yourself. Previous encounter. That's right. We pay you when the job's done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it. So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek a ways. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. Um. Oh, over there. Mr. Kellogg, I'm glad you decided to meet with me. Oh. You're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself oh. if you really existed. <laughs> we do. I can't not make fun of him. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. If that's a problem for you. I can see only one way out. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. From what I hear, you can afford me. I don't think you fully understand the situation you're in. I think I do. Very well. B-748, initiate. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. It's all this old bunch. Nothing I actually care about. Ah. Uh, ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Manual override. Well, well, well. Cryogenic stasis. Suspended. Would you look at that? Vault computers are still working. That's good. Checking through the logs. Hopefully I remember what you looked just... before. Hey, there we are. Even then, I knew it was a mistake leaving her alive. I understood that kind of revenge. No one better. But I was cocky enough to assume I could handle some soft pre-war vault dweller. Even if she somehow got thought out. At least I know those Institute bastards will soon get what's coming to them, too. If she could take me out, they won't be able to hide from her for long. You're not a very high bar. Pod C6, down the- I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. I'm not saying I haven't done it, but, uh, I never like to. Wow, okay then. But it was better this way. Better than taking his kid and leaving him alive. Call near the end. Wasn't there more of them? This is the one. Here. Open it. Almost. Everything's going to be fine. Okay? Come here. No. Come here, baby. Wait. No. I got him. Let the boy go. I'm only going to tell you once. I'm not giving you son. God damn it. Get the kid out of here and let's go. At least we still have the backup. 
cryogenic sequence reinitialized. What's the holdup? I'm almost finished, Kellogg. I just need to confirm. All right, we're good. I'm, uh, I'm sorry you had to go through that again. I found another intact memory. Whenever you're ready. Oh boy, what does this one lead to, I wonder? Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory. So, good news, I think. Wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But, it was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid. Like a happy little family. Uh -huh. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. Womp womp. But there's no going back. I knew it was just temporary. It'd be back to normal business before too long. Oh, okay then. It's okay. One of these days you're you? get your head. The new breed of synths could easily pass as human. Some of them did. But the coursers, they weren't built to blend in. They were killing machines, pure and simple. Smarter, stronger, and faster than almost any real human. I'm just glad they were always on my side. In here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said nothing. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Oh, I hear Names the song. Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding something. Oh, wait! In glowing Fuck! Sorry. I get the symbolism. No! You're gonna get me covered a second. Here's his file. Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination? Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So... I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Shh. Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Father, hold okay. up. Uh, okay. X688, ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. You won't. Bye. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the Institute because there is no entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. Oh, that's kind of creepy, but neat at the same time. Slow movements, okay? I don't know what kind of side effects the procedure might have. Running! Jumping! <laughs> no one's ever done this before. How do you feel? Nick. Next time I have to watch someone's life story, I want popcorn. Well, if you're cognizant enough to joke, I think we can safely say that you're out of critical condition. 
Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? There's more than one person who knows about the Institute. Virgil, that scientist who escaped. I didn't know Institute scientists could defect. This changes everything. He could answer all sorts of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That can't be right. No one would risk going there, not even to hide. That's exactly what he's That's why he's there. To make the Institute think twice about following him. That must be it. He's using the radiation and the glowing sea like a shield or a cloak, a way to throw them off and be at an advantage. If Virgil found a way to survive there, you'll have to do the same. If you're going to follow him. Oh, I'm going in naked. Fingers crossed I get superpowers. I know you're joking, <laughs> but as a doctor, I feel obligated to remind you that unprotected radioactive exposure will only kill you. Dead. D-E-A-D. Nuh-uh. -uh. can also turn into a ghoul. So be sure you find a way <laughs> to get through there with your life intact. And good luck. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine <gasps> first. Nick. Remove the implant while you were waking up. Oh, really? For you upstairs. Look at the experience. Nick! Let me out, let me out, let me out. Da, 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 da. I, wrong way. Where's Nick? Nick! Hey, Valentine. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. What the fuck? <laughs> that was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. What the fuck? I want to be sarcastic, but at the same Nick, time. are you still in there? What? What are you talking about? You sounded like Kellogg just then. Did I? I'm not even being sarcastic no. with that. Mari said there might be some mnemonic impressions left over. What? Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. I or I could head back to Diamond City, since you've got company already. Um, uh, 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 um... Uh, what are we doing, chat? We keeping Deacon or are we getting Nick? What are we doing? Who are we taking for the last bit of the ride? <laughs> We're immediately in chat. This is why we check on Nick. <laughs> Who are we taking? We take a Nick. I have a feeling you guys are. Well, not you guys. I have a feeling Mira is immediately going to say Nick. I'm waiting for that message to come in any second now. Come on, Mira. Where's the bias? Yeah, I told you. Nick time. Deacon had his fun. <laughs> Damn, Deacon. Mira's really letting you out of the cage five minutes at a time. <laughs> Let's get going, Nick. Been All one right. heck of a ride so far. Let's see where it takes us next. Agreed. All right, Deacon. Mira's putting you through the long, arduous, treacherous walk from Good Neighbor all the way back to Sanctuary. Say thank you, Mira. Even after accompanying us through all of that. <laughs> Alrighty. Speaking of, though, uh, I'm going to call it here. Where's our last save? Why are all these saves being made? Save to your last. No, seriously, I'm gonna manage that. Hold on. Why are all these being made? That's the most recent one. That's quick save. These are all quick saves. What are they doing here? Oh my god, you're going all the way back to Vault 11. What the hell? Alright. Oh, wait, no! Shit! Ah! Come back!
copyright. No. Jump. <laughs> I forgot. God damn it, Volu. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Now I'm going to call it here. Thank you so much for joining me for Fallout 4. I stream every weekday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The full VODs go up on YouTube at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I hope you all have a good one and stay safe.